What's up, everybody? This is John Camacho from Coahuila Motors, and you know me. I gotta be the first guy to drop something on YouTube about the newest things in electric bikes, especially when it comes to my guys, Electric Motion. Now, you know, they they started the, the electric trials bike, um, and there's been a couple of things that we've seen recently with gas gas, with, um, with gearboxes and whatnot, but fear not, Electric Motion always coming in clutch, and guess what? Look at what we have here. We have a gear selector. This bike, the uh, Factor E from Electric Motion, is basically the newest version that they've put out. Uh, this is still a prototype. Um, they haven't announced yet. I think we're going to have tomorrow more information on what's to come. But this is the Factor E bike. It has also a smaller motor, which actually allows that it looks like for a bigger range battery as well and this battery looks quite larger and we'll see in some other pictures how this plays in so the frame looks similar to the e-pure race and as we look on this side yeah it's pretty amazing this is the new uh, gear or clutch cover which is a lot more easily accessible like a regular gas bike not like the old e or the 2024s that you know you got to dig down deep in there to change the clutches and stuff like that it wasn't like we used it a lot anyway but now you know it's it's right there it's easily accessible um and like i was saying they actually advertise that they have a bigger battery with this platform and right away you can tell off the bat you see this space right here this gap between the battery and the um and the stanchion or this bolt the frame hasn't changed so much but that this gap right here is a lot smaller meaning that the battery from top to bottom is a lot bigger and as far as like if they're using 5000 milliamp hour cells in the same space with a, like 2 inches more of space down there you could possibly get um like 60 at least 60 or 70 amp hours depending on how the cell configuration is and what type of cells they're using so that's kind of exciting to know so you not only get uh you know a four speed transmission with a clutch a working a real working clutch you also get a longer range battery and as you can see the front end doesn't look too different but i did notice this right here this brace seems to be an add-on from the um old epr uh race and even the x the x has a similar brace there but it's 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 a little bit different it has that steering stopper but nevertheless that um this extra piece is uh is braced up on this bike and i believe uh gael said that they're gonna run it per his instagram they're gonna run it tomorrow in the uh indoor trials event and look at that guys so awesome yeah, there it is your four speed gearbox pedal now tomorrow i guess they're gonna announce the bike uh no specific news on whether it's gonna be a 2025 a 2026 release or whatever they haven't said anything about it yet this is from uh em's new factory I guess um, uh, they had a celebration there where they invited all the dealers um, from the U.S., from France, from Spain, all over. And this is the new bike, the Factor E, that is uh, going to be hitting the market hopefully soon. You know, it's always EM's uh, MO to put something out and not release it for a while, uh, which I feel would be kind of the same. But regardless, this is a step in the right direction for EM that drivetrain is amazing and you know once call wheeler motors gets their hands on it we're gonna make this bike we're gonna mod it with the x because we want these four gears for range that would be awesome especially for speed so thanks guys for checking it out and uh like always ride with aloha until next time see you later aloha